Kay Ogilvie, Senior Curator for Full Circle Project run by MACE, which is the media archive for Central England, one of nine regional archive, film archives. Okay, can you just tell me a little brief overview of what MACE does? MACE is one of nine regional archives and we're responsible for connecting people with their cultural screen heritage. Uh, we preserve films and moving images and we hope to share them with the local communities. Great. Um, I just wanted to ask you, what kind of people donate to the archive? Everybody and anybody. We have professional and amateur filmmakers, like some of the films we've seen today. People who got really interested in buying up, buying up cameras and making their own films. Plus we have the whole collection of ATV and ITV Central. And we have some of the big programmes made at the time, England, They're England, and we have lots of um, programmes made, commissioned by local industries to showcase their work. Like the nylon, nylon stockings film from Ilkeston, and it was a, a local industry, Booth and Sons, and they wanted to make a film about their factory, and so they um, filmed the workers making nylon stockings. Fantastic. Uh, I know you, you mentioned to us at the event today that film goes back 100 years, but do you collect more recent film for the archive? We do. In our archive we have film dating back to 19, 1897 to 2012. So today's film is tomorrow's heritage. We are interested in film now as well. Fantastic. How can people get involved further with MACE? They Other than get, donating? Yeah, they can get involved in many different ways. Um, if they're on the internet, they can look at our online catalogue and they'll see that we have over 40,000 titles on there, most of them catalogued, given a shot list of what's on the film, given the filmmaker, the date and the location. If they want to take it a little bit further, they can select the films that have a little film clip with them and they can watch the film clip or we can arrange special visits to our archive for researchers or people who want to see a particular film that hasn't been digitised. We're based at the University of Lincoln and people would need to make an appointment to do that, but that's perfectly possible. Or they can come along to one of these community film screenings that we're advertising on our website, the ones that are having a special musical score put together with silent home movie footage which is touring in 12 venues and you can find out details of where by looking on the macearchive.org website. Thank you. Lastly, um, I just wanted to ask you, do you have a favourite clip, a real gem in the collection that you, you have a real um, love for? I thought you'd ask me that and I thought, oh my God, I hadn't looked at the collections recently but there's one that does stick in my mind, it's about a dog show but I can't actually remember the title of it so if you click on search word dog shows there's some very comical um, footage on there. Oh and there's another one about people living up, up in trees and then interview with a great big funny hat like a flower pot. So there's fascinating stuff on there. Hi, my name's Dawn O'Brien. And you actually saw yourself in one of the films being shown to get today yeah, at the Yeah, 99% archives. convinced, yes. Okay, which video was it? Which it film? was the part of the war for the centre in the 1960s, 70s. And it was a little girl with a bright red uh, ribbon and a bright red dress with her mum. Oh, wow. So, so how did it feel to, to see that? Very strange. And, oh. My name is Ned, Ned Williams. Thank you. And you've got some items, um, hopefully, to go into the MACE archive. Yes, I have three cassettes here of early tape, quarter-inch tape, and that was what was used in the early video cameras, uh, about 2000, and it was a millennium project. I decided to start keeping a kind of um, video diary. So I started in the year 2000 for the millennium. But even this very quickly went out of date as a medium, and there's no way of playing it back now. So I'm interested in perhaps getting it converted to DVD and seeing whether the tapes themselves ought to be preserved by somebody like the archive. It's about local carnivals, local fairs, some local transport scenes. I'm not even quite sure what is on it because I can't view it at the moment. That's why I would like to get it on DVD and I'd like to find a safe home for it. Fantastic. Can you just tell me a little bit about your interest in local history in Wolverhampton? Right, I am a local historian and author and filmmaker, so I've always been making films, sort of 8mm films and so on. Again, I think they will have to go in the archive sometime. Uh, and I have collected films as well, so films and local history, that's two treats for me in one. <laughs>
It's Patricia Davis. I have a, a great interest in the history of Wolverhampton. Um, I'm doing research as I used to work. I've just finished working for 48 years at Wolfram College, which is now City of Wolverhampton College, where it's with Bilston College. And I have an archive which I've been looking after and building up on for the college, which includes films. Uh, we have 16 mil, we have video, we have little ones, and all sorts. And we're looking, I was trying to ascertain uh, for the college who owns them, and the college, I think, does own them. So um, we hope, I'm hoping they will let them go to Mace to be copied and looked after. Fantastic. How are you hoping to use them in the future? Uh, hopefully, we will be able to get um, videos, but we'll be able to get CDs or DVDs to make co a proper college archive, working with people at the Bilston campus who are trying to do that with stuff left from Bilston, when it, the Bilston Community College, when it was actually merged. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to get it somehow so it would be free for people in Wolverhampton, but particularly the college, to have in the library there, Learning Resource Centre, sorry, there, um, as a, an aid to what Wolverhampton education in Wolverhampton was all about.